Welcome to the Money Show Las Vegas Traders Expo. I'm John Netto here with Suri Dudella, automated trader extraordinaire. Thank you for joining me, Suri. Thank you. Thank you, John. So, a lot of people, when they hear about automated trading, about al algorithmic trading, there's some misperceptions out there. What do you see as someone who's been an algorithmic trader for so long as, as some common misperceptions about algorithmic trading? Well, one of the biggest things with automation is, uh, you know, a lot of traders think that, you know, they can just simply transition from being a discretionary trader and transition into algorithmic trader. Well, one of the issues with algorithmic trading is it's not an easy thing to build it. It's not a, it takes somebody with a very proficient coder, or a co with a, even with a great idea, probably it could take multiple years for it to develop it, back test it, and then with confidently go into the markets. So I guess you know, people are a little bit apprehensive rather than looking at an indicator or a setup on the pattern, on the chart sure. itself. So those are the issues which when they come into the play. And, and also it's not easy because you have to test multiple instruments, multiple uh, time frames to figure out what's the best time frames you can use it. And also the knowledge of automation is just coming into people now because they don't know what profit factors they need to use it, whether it would work consistently, the next cycle of the patterns. So those are some of the concepts. That we're going to do. So as someone who's built automated trading programs myself, someone who's developed proprietary software, specifically around trading events themselves, right. I'm familiar with you know, at a practical level, some of the challenges. Right. There's a lot of different components to automating a trading strategy. Right. Okay, maybe walk us through three of them, if you can, just to give people a general. Someone comes to you, I want to automate a trading strategy, or I'm interested in automation. Right. What's a typical process you may take someone through right. to implement that into their system or process? One of the biggest thing in automation, the first thing is the you know the idea itself. You know, what is it? Whether it's the breakout or it's momentum base trader or whether it's a pullback or some concept, you know, whether it's a, or you're doing a, some kind of a, uh, some arbitrage trade or a, or you're actually basing it off of some events, like whether it's earnings or gaps or any of this. So these things need to be first coded properly because there, there's a, some brilliant ideas go waste because if it's not done well. So I think that's a, one of the biggest thing people need to understand that that is the key element is the knowledge of the idea itself. And the second is the back testing itself. Sure. And the third is the execution. The back testing is a save the best for last. <laughs> yes. The third is the biggest is the execution because there are certain platforms treat your orders differently. So not only you need to understand just the your IP itself or your idea, but also you need to understand the platform side to see how does it execute it. And then the biggest of course is the risk how do you manage it? How do you manage it? Because most of the you know, trades will have some drawdowns. So how do you manage it and when do you close it? And how do you, whether it's a fully automated, whether it's a semi-automated. Quasi gray box, black box. Yes. Alternative. It. So in that regard, let's take a step back and maybe walk through some, some definitions of automated trading. There is, when someone, what do you think is, when someone hears automated trading, right and the amount of volume it encompasses, what are some the biggest misperception about it that you see people with that you're constantly correcting for them? Right, so I guess you know, first of all you need to look at it and say, why is automation or why is algorithm trading? What is it, right? It's basically you're taking some type of a computer instructions and sending it to a brokerage and sending it to your exchange and saying, uh, giving an order to buy or sell uh, positions. Well, what is the advantage of it? One of the biggest advantages is the speed. Uh, because it's a humanly discretionary traders can't perform those type of transactions, multiple transactions. Right. The second is the accuracy of it. Right? The accuracy is because a lot of discretionary traders, including myself, I made tons of mistakes. Including myself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a lot of, so, and the third is, uh, the biggest component is the scalability. Sure. Because if you do have a very good idea, right, or if you have a good algorithm, you can trade multiple instruments, multiple time frames, uh, that's a scalability. And the fourth one is, the biggest confidence in algorithm trading comes from the back testing, right? The back testing, which is a, because most of the times when the discretionary traders, they look at a setup and say, well, it's a great setup, it worked last two times, but has it worked last five years ago? I know, how, how do you improve this test? And what other variables are a part uh, of that yeah. as well, sure. Uh, and what else filters you could use it, right. uh, or can you stop trading? Can right. you st so those are all the part of the back testing, because that's what builds the confidence for you to do. So when traders come into some idea, 
Well, I tell them these are these are the things you need to look at it to fast. Okay, you need to understand that this is a necessary step. So that if you look at the, the number of you know the the ratio between the discretionary traders and automatic traders, you know there are eighty percent of them probably are discretionary traders. Right. Twenty uh, percent of them are uh, automated traders, but they're still not there yet, fully automated. There's sure. Some, some of them are automated brilliantly well. Uh, you know whether it's uh, any type of a system, whatever they have. So that's how I think uh, is it the, some of the factors which are important. There's a lot to cover here, yes. and we'll hit it in future segments. Yes. In the meantime, how does somebody get a hold of you? Yes, uh, my name is Suri Didella. My website is uh, surinotes.com, and my email is uh, surinotes at gmail.com. I can access through the email. Suri, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Fantastic. Thank you, John.